I'd like to welcome our graduating class for our winter 2017 semester. They should be getting here soon, so when they do, let's give them a loud round of applause. All right, welcome everybody to the Tassel M Tech, and thanks for coming out tonight on a cold night. Um, but at least it's not snowing, so we'll we'll take what we can get tonight. So thank you. Um, before we kick things off, I want to introduce myself. My name is Scott Matson. I'm our program manager for our job training programs here at the M Tech. So many of these students I've seen over the course of many days and many hours. Um, so I'm really excited to to be able to host the event tonight. But before we get started, if you're willing to give one more big round of applause for them and everything they've been through. So we are here to celebrate tonight. So we do have um, some rules. We have kind of a, a short but sweet program, but um, really we are here to celebrate our graduates tonight. So some of the rules are when your name is called for the graduates, you don't have to be quiet. We're, we expect you to yell and clap. Um, we want to have a good time. We like to have fun in our graduation ceremonies here. Um, and I think graduates, if, if you're willing to, um, when I'm done here in a little bit, give our support teams who are here in the audience a big round of applause. You all have sacrificed uh, many hours and juggling of schedules and helped out, whether it's moms, dads, cousins, neighbors, friends. Um, so we hear the stories all the time of everything you've given up for them to be successful. So graduates, if you'd give them a round of applause, please. And then just some more introductions of, of who's here tonight from the college. Um, first, I'm going to introduce our job training faculty. Um, who do we have here? I'll start with, for computer support technician, Moss Ingram. For welding technician, Nathan Haney. For construction electrical, Doug Wiersma. Our advisor slash counselor slash do everything, Vicki Maxa. Machine Tool CNC, Steve Henkelman. Automotive Technician, Gail Beals. <laughs> there we go. I like it. 
for residential construction, Kyle Lackscheid. <laughs> Introduction to construction, John Doan. <laughs> the executive director of our Tassel MTech here, Julie Parks. and our Vice President and Dean of our School of Workforce Development, and our next college president, Dr. Bill Pink. All right, so next we are going to, oh wait, ooh, I can't forget some of the most important person, Erin Rozek, wherever she's at. She puts this event on and she does everything. She's probably running around doing something right now. So thank you, Aaron. And then all of the staff you see in the back, if you just give a, a quick wave, we have lots of people that help out tonight, so thank you. So we are going to jump right into, um, I guess, announcing our graduates. And for that, we are going to bring up uh, John Doan. First of all, when you see a <clears throat> graduate go through with a red, white, and blue honor cord, that signifies that they are also a veteran. We will begin with the automotive program, and I will ask Professor Gail Beals if he would come. Myra Johnson. <laughs> Jesus Delangel Santos. <clears throat> Nazir Shakar. The automotive program has recently been certified by the Chrysler Automotive Company as a, as a recognized uh, training program, and we have uh, five of the first graduates that will be receiving their um, MCAP Level 1 certification from the job training automotive program tonight. James Rosma. Mike Hembroff. Rick Cable. Jovan Johnson. <laughs> Nick Zainkin. <laughs> that completes the automotive program. The next program will be the Introduction to Construction Trades. I am the professor for that program, but I would ask Kyle Lackscheid if he would come and present for me. Eric Vanderstel. Perry Stratner. <laughs> Derek Williams. <laughs> 
Teresa Phillips. Israel Carter Nelkitz. The next program will be the Machine Tool CNC Technician Program. I'd ask Professor Steve Henkelman if he would come forward. Dustin London. Woo! Julian Mahira. Woo! James Staten. I would ask Kyle Lackshide to come forward for the residential construction program. Laith Elhardai. <laughs> Jermaine Fields. Donovan Wilson. <laughs> I would ask Doug Wiersma if you'd come forward for the construction electrical program. Gabriel A. Lackey. <laughs> Caleb Patton. Veronica Santino. <laughs> Malik Banks. I'd ask Professor Moss Ingram if he would come forward for the computer support program. <laughs> Herbert Johnson. Jeremiah Dupree. I would ask Nathan Haney if you'd come forward for the welding fabrication technician program.
Jeffrey Vickers. <laughs> Riley Perez. Emilio Alvarez. <laughs> Kyle Vandeshoor. I would now ask Ryan Pohl if he would come forward to present for the ESL Machine CNC program. All right, here we go. So, uh, Armando Torres Martinez. Cesario Bravo Vesquez. Araceli Hernandez. Ignacia Mazariegos. Humberto Alvarez. Rosa Quinones. Rosa should get two certificates because she brought me a cake on my birthday. <laughs> Luis Hernandez. Ludi Kayaks.
Eleazar Noah Mentalvo. I'd ask Doug Wiersma to come back up for the construction electrical program. Curtis Parks. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, graduates. I have the best job here at the MTech. I get to welcome the students at orientation with Vicki Maxa and lecture them about how to behave, what to do. Remember, early is on time and on time is late. All those things, never forget them. But I wanted to take a minute to let you know about the support staff that stands behind each one of these students. And if any of these students are having trouble finding work or uh, having issues that we can help them with, we have a team of job developers and career coaches, uh, navigators here. Uh, we want you to check back in with us because we want to know how you're doing and what we could do better and uh, you know different things that are going on. We like to hear from you. So please stay in touch with us. Our programs also couldn't be possible. We have a pilot group of people uh, that Ryan Pohl announced tonight. Our partnership with the Hispanic Center of West Michigan and with the West Michigan Literacy Center. If, if our friends from those organizations would stand up over in the crowd over here, we could give them a hand. Susan co-taught that class, and what it is is they learned English while they also learned CNC machining. And it was a dream of ours to see if we could make this happen, and it did happen, and they're, they're such high achievers in what they did, and we're, we're very excited about the program. Our faculty work very hard. Most of them are here at 6.30 every morning, and they're here still at 4 and 4.30 in the afternoon. Why? Because they care about every student here, and they want everyone to get a good job. But let me tell you that this is just the beginning, and, and I know Dr. Pink will talk about it. This is the early step. You're going to have to keep learning. That's part because I want you to be competitive. Every time you're out there, I want you to tell people where you're from and be proud of Grand Rapids Community College and what you've done. You mean a lot to us, and we hope the best for you. So, Without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Bill Pink, the Vice President and Dean of the School of Workforce Development. He has a few words to say to the graduates and to all of you. Thank you. Good evening. Uh-oh, you're a little dead now. Good evening. Good evening. All right, got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed, and here's why. So usually at graduation ceremonies, uh, if you go to some of these uh, universities and some of these colleges, they want to be all the pump and circumstance and a little nice clap when you see people go by. That's not this graduation. That's not what this one is about. This one is about celebrating people who have completed something that, quite frankly, will have them a job if they don't already have a job in the, in the area that they just finished a degree in, just finished their certification, just finished uh, their credential. And so what that means to me is that it's time for celebration. So here's my disappointment. You guys have been too quiet tonight. So I'm going to give you another opportunity, and here's how we do this. So. Without attacking anyone or moving out of your seat, although you can stand up when you do this, I want you to truly let your spouse, um, uh, significant other, uh, son, daughter, however, whatever the relationship, friend, whatever the relationship is, when I count to three, you need to let them know just how proud you are of what they have accomplished. So, okay, ready? One, two, three, go.
That is so much better. I love that. If we can go to a basketball, a football, soccer game, or watch it on TV and yell and scream at a TV for somebody who's not performing well or who is performing well, surely we can make our loved one feel good about their accomplishment. How cool it is to be a part of that. You guys are, being, are able to experience that. And to our graduates, I've got to tell you how amazing it is for you to have finished this credential, this certificate, this, uh, uh, this ticket, if you will. Uh, let me leave you with this, though, um, before we're done tonight. So I think one of the worst things that I've seen people do, I've seen people accomplish something, finish something, get a, something in their hand to say, yes, you accomplished it, whether it be a diploma, certificate, or whatever. One of the worst things I've seen people do is get that piece of paper sit it on a mantle, and then not do anything with it. And here's what I mean by not doing anything with it. So on that sheet of paper, on the document that you will have that says that you accomplished this particular feat, what you need to do if I were you, put it to use. Some of you have a certification in automotive. You have it in CNC. You have it in computer and tech. So you have all these things, whether it be welding, whether it be construction. What you have just accomplished, please understand, there are plenty of jobs in Grand Rapids and West Michigan just waiting on you to come if you're not already in those jobs. So my encouragement to you is to take the idea that people ask you, so what does that mean that you finish? What that means is that you are just that much more qualified and prepared for you to make money for yourself, for your loved ones, for you to start building even more of what you have right now, which is building that career that says, here's what that means to me. So do something. Make sure you do something with that. Make sure that you take that of what you have done and that you put it to use not only for yourself, but you put it to use for your family. As Julie mentioned a second ago, you have opportunity also at a place like Grand Rapids Community College that not only have you finished this credential, but I would even challenge you to think about what your next is. Your next might be the job that you already have. Your next may be the job that you end up getting. Your next may be to come back to school at GRCC, or it may be a combination of those things. I encourage you, you've done this, go on, complete, hey, do, so, do another one. See what that next is. Is that next an associate's degree? Come on and do it. You've accomplished this, it means you can accomplish even more. So come back and get a degree. And once you've done that, go back again, go to one of these local universities, get another degree. Show yourself and show the people sitting in front of you just how qualified and capable you are because what you have in your hand right now says you're capable. And so I... I, I, st I get a little, I get passionate about this because what I hate to see, what I do not like to see is people who I recognize that have accomplished something that kind of stall out on their accomplishment and just kind of become satisfied. Don't be satisfied. Don't be satisfied. If you have that capability in you, which I believe you do by the fact of the nature you finish this, if you have that capability in you, that means that you see how your path now goes to what your next is. I would love for you, love for you, to one day email, call, come by my office and say, you know what, I did it. Remember that night, that, in, that cold night in December that you sat there and blabbed at us about finishing and about doing more? Guess what? I just finished my associate's degree. I would love here in another year to two years, I would love for you to walk across the stage, and that stage will be a little bit bigger than this area, right? And it'll probably be downtown right here in Grand Rapids. I would love for you to walk across that stage and I get to shake your hand and say congratulations because you have completed that next degree that next credential, that next certificate, whatever it is, but make sure you understand, put to use what you have in your hand right now and then figure out what your next is. Congratulations, I am proud of you. You are a GRCC graduate. Thank you very much. I'm not gonna even attempt to follow that, so. Thank you, Dr. Pink. Um, we're gonna conclude our ceremony here um, in just a few seconds, but graduates, please stay here. 
Um, we'd like to, actually we'll probably have you gather up here a little bit or maybe staying where you're at. So anyone who wants to come up for pictures can do that. Um, probably the kids will be the first ones there, but there are cookies and punch in the back of the room. So uh, thanks again. So we're, we're going to be open as long as you want to stay around and celebrate. So thank you very much for coming tonight.